life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it. No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life, and you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. There are going to be so many different things that you will embark on. There are going to be so many different things that's going to try to slow you down. There are going to be so many different challenges that you must face. But instead of running away from the challenge, run towards the challenge. Be able to understand that life has meaning. It has reason. And all of these things that you may be thinking that is so hard on you. Just remember, sometimes you're going to have to go through these changes, these circumstances that puts you in a position to make you feel that you're not worthy anymore. But make no mistake, you are worthy. You were created for something. You wasn't created for nothing. Life has a gift. A gift of giving. A gift of receiving. And whether if it's good or bad, you got to make sure you understand that these circumstances and these challenges has to happen in your life. You will come to a point that you may feel that you are in a hopeless situation. You may come to a point in your life where you are at the end of a rope and the only thing left to do is to climb up because you only can do so much for so long. But make sure you're doing much more instead of doing less. Stop stressing about the things that you cannot control and stop focusing on the things that you have control of. Take control of your life. 
take control of the opportunities. Believe in yourself and know that it is not over for you. So many people out there in this world right now will try to tell you not to be something that you feel in your heart that you want to be. So many people out there right now are miserable and they'll try their best to take you with them. Do not let misery control the life that you have. Do not let anyone tell you how to live it. Do not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't going to make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is going to do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen. You make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. Remember the time when you wanted more. Remember the time when there were people in your life that did not believe in you. Remember the time when you honestly gave up on the possibilities of the uniqueness that you had inside. Remember there was a time that you complained so much but yet did so little. There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in a position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now, and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher than you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are going to be many struggles. There are going to be many challenges. And there are going to be a lot of things that you may not even understand. But you got to go back to where it started. Remember when you want it more. Because you cannot satisfy your hunger with negative energy. Being negative doesn't help you to grow. Being doubtful doesn't give you the power that you need. You have to come to a point in your life that you must realize that there are things that are going on that is testing you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you're feeling that you're going to be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. I dare you to take a trip to your local hospital. And if you have an opportunity to walk down those corridors and witness so many different people, different age groups, different ethnicities, and each one of these individuals are fighting something, they're dealing with some type of sickness. And some of these sicknesses, they may not be able to recover from. I dare you to walk down a neighborhood where there are many people that are homeless and have no place to go, no food to eat, barely even have clothes on their backs. I dare you to realize that maybe you just don't have it so bad after all. Maybe it's time for you to realize and recognize that your troubles are not that bad. Maybe it's time that you realize that you need to get away from the drama that's in your life. Maybe it's time for you to stop chasing misery and start chasing your dreams. Reconnect with yourself. Because this is not the time for you to be wasting putting yourself back instead of pushing yourself forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you have so much, so much to offer, so much to give, so much to do, but doing it and sitting around waiting for it to happen it's just gonna stay in neutral you have to electrify the desire that you have that you once had so the next time you feel like complaining you feel like worrying and you're so concerned about other things that doesn't necessarily concern you ask yourself is it making you better? 
Is it taking you higher? Are you going further? Or are you just being complacent? Complacent and complaining and worrying and doing things that are not better for you. Are you gonna realize that maybe just going up that mountain does take a little bit more work than just having something handed to you? Are you gonna be that person that realizes that if and when you get to the top of the mountain, it don't just stop there. You got to figure out another way to go even higher. You have to electrify and get all the things that are necessary within you to start doing the things that you need to do so when the time comes, you can kick down that door and move towards the possibilities of being the best of who you really are. Don't lose yourself and the things that's not going to give you the strength and the capacity of understanding that you matter for something. Don't lose yourself in fear. Don't lose yourself in doubt. Dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to be unique. Dare yourself to be the best possibility that the world has yet to see. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about. But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're gonna leave? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? How do we go on? How do we lead the next generation? Hate is not going to make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. But I guarantee you this, there's nobody in the world that can do you. When the time comes, what would you leave behind? What legacy will be left behind to remind others of your greatness, of your losses, of your victories, of your sorrows? This is a short life that we all have. And it's not easy. It's not easy living it every day. It's not easy to go through so many different circumstances, so many different challenges. It's not easy getting that pink slip, knowing that this may be your last day on your job. 
It's not easy knowing that you may lose your home because you got laid off your job. This type of pain and these different circumstances, many people are always gonna come back and say, well, that's life. We cannot blame life. It is not life that makes these challenges what they are today. It is the purpose. And purpose never lies. It will always tell you the truth. But while you exist in this world right now, I need you to hold on. I need you to hold on strong and don't give up. I need you to believe in every possibility that you have and understand that it is not over for you. I need you to understand life is always going to be good. But always keep in mind, sooner or later, we all got to punch that clock. So carry on. And don't give up. And don't give in. And do the best that you can to have the right attitude to make your existence matter. I can't. I cannot. I can't. I'll try. I'll try. I tried. How does that sound? Listen to that. I can't. I tried. I'll try. This is not the time to be embracing any of that. The word can't should not exist in your vocabulary. And try? Why even bother? If you're not going to do everything that is necessary to get where you want to be in your life, why even bother? Sounds harsh, doesn't it? Makes you wonder why am I saying exactly what I just said? Because the time is now for you to recognize that there is no time to be feeling pity about your discussions and what it is that you have inside yourself. You have got to have a different type of conversation within yourself and stop doing the word can't and stop doing the word try. Now let's talk about can't. The word can't, what has it done for so many people? And what has it done for you? Has can't elevated you? Has can't put you in a better place in your life? Has can't made you feel stronger? Has Kent made something resonate inside of you to give you the ability to carry on? Or if Kent, has it put you in a position to where you're just standing still and you're waiting for something? Maybe you're waiting for a handout. Maybe you're waiting for a pat on your back. Maybe you're waiting for someone to hold your hand. Kent. What is it doing for you now? Can't is not something that you need to be holding on to. Can't doesn't do anything for me. And it shouldn't do anything for you. What it is that you are seeking in your life and what it is that you are going for in your life, can't cannot be attached to it. It takes more. It takes much more than the word can't. It is a word that should never exist in your life. Whatever mistakes that you are making, whatever failures that you have faced, embrace it and carry on. Because the word can't, it ain't gonna care nothing about you anyway. It doesn't love you, it doesn't care about you. And when you have the word can't in your mind, excuses will follow. So how do you carry on? What is it that you need to do? And how far are you willing to take it? Now let's talk about try. 
trying seems to be the new thing. Well, I wouldn't even say that it's the new thing. It seemed like it's the everyday thing for so many people. Well, I tried. I couldn't put down that chocolate piece of cake. I couldn't put that key piece of cake down. I tried. I couldn't get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I tried to get up, but I couldn't get up. I tried. I tried to be nice, but I couldn't be nice. I tried. Everything you did is try, but you didn't even give yourself the satisfaction in doing. I look at myself every day and I always come back to the conclusion, I can't be like everybody else. I don't want to be like everybody else. I never said that I was the best, but I'm going to be the best of myself. I'm going to be good within myself. I'm going to learn within myself. I'm going to seek everything that I need within myself. And I may not have everyone celebrating with me. Everybody's not going to clap for me. But I have to have the ability to celebrate for myself. I don't need to be a part of the crowd to feel good about who I am inside. You don't need to be a part of the crowd to know who you are inside. Because everything that everybody else is doing doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. You don't need to be like everybody else, but you need to be the best of yourself. Be able to feel good about who you are, what you are, and what you are ultimately made of. Because without that, how far are you willing to go? Don't sacrifice yourself to please others. Don't give all of your energy to people who really don't care about you. Make sure you understand the significance and how you go about your life. Why do you feel that you need to be a part of a group or some kind of an organization to feel important? Do you feel that it's necessary for you to stand out because you're a part of a group? Now, I'm not going to tell you that being a part of a group or even an organization is a bad thing. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it justifies who you are as a person. When you're walking the path and you're going about your day, or let's just say your life, do you ever take a moment to think to yourself about your uniqueness? About maybe it's okay to be alone and have some me time? Do you feel that you have to be a part of a group of individuals to make you feel better? To make you feel special? To make you feel that you belong? You belong more than you ever imagined in your life. You are more than just what you think you are. You don't necessarily have to be a part of a group or follow a crowd to stand out. Think about it. Just because everyone is jumping in the ocean, that doesn't mean you have to. In fact, most of the times you may be jumping in the ocean and there's a school of sharks out there. Do you honestly think the people that you are in the ocean with will save you if the sharks decide to attack? Or maybe you haven't even gave it even a thought that maybe today I shouldn't even be in the ocean swimming. Maybe I'll just take a walk on the beach. Ladies and gentlemen, for many years, people have made the ultimate mistake of trying to be like everybody else. But it doesn't help you, does it? Doesn't give you everything you really need, does it? It doesn't really get you where you want to be in your life. Because there could be some great disappointments in your life because you put so much trust in people instead of trusting yourself. 
Trust in your own ideas. Being alone sometimes can make you strong. It doesn't necessarily make you a weak person, but it gives you time to rectify within yourself, to have some clarity, maybe even some closure in your life. Sure, you can hang out with people. Sure, you could be a part of people's lives, but make sure you keep the right company around you. Make sure you keep the right people in your life because everybody that you think means something to you may not necessarily mean something to them. You may be an obstacle in their way. So don't put all of your trust, don't put all of your eggs in a basket and think that that's all you need. You have to explore other things, other horizons. You have to understand that there's going to be a lot of challenges ahead of you. But you have to continue to press on. You have to continue to follow your own path. You have to continue to believe in your own ideas. You have to continue to believe in you. You don't need everybody to validate you. In fact, you don't need validation from anyone. Have you gotten to a position where you feel that every time you fall back, people are going to look at you less? Do you feel less of yourself because you don't fit the criteria what other people expect you to be? Or do you feel less of yourself because you don't have the certain expectations that people think you should have? It's okay to follow, but make sure you're following the right ideas, the right kind of people, the right things that are gonna make you better inside. And don't give in to things that may not be necessarily for you. Being cool, being able to fit what other people think you ought to be, do you really think that's what you're about? Are you going to let other people dictate your life? Are you going to take some kind of idea back within yourself and say, let me take back these ideas that I have and start thinking more about myself instead of thinking about other people and what they think I ought to be in my life? Everybody can't be you. Everybody can't be me. We can't be them. That's what makes us beautiful as people. That's what makes you beautiful. That's what makes you unique. So ladies and gentlemen, you have got to continue to press on in your life. You have got to continue to believe in yourself. Don't follow the crowd. Follow your heart. Be productive and keep it moving. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Losing, sometimes it will happen. But when you lose, make sure you lose the right way. Humble yourself when you lose. Don't be angry because we got to lose sometimes. Sometimes you may not understand why you're losing, but you will lose. You will fail. But if you're going to fail, fail the right way. If you're going to lose, lose the right way. Make sure they remember you. Make sure anything that's coming after you remembers you. They know that, man, I don't want to meet that person again. I don't want to have to fight that person again. I don't want to have to encounter that person again. Because of the heart and the will that you had within yourself. Don't submit. Don't give up. Fight through it. Push through it. If you're going to lose, lose the right way. Do you understand what that means? Or are you going to just give in? And then when you lose, you're feeling sorry for yourself. You feel that you're not worthy anymore. You feel like everybody's going to talk about you. No, it's not about the people. It's about you. It's about understanding you. All my life, I've been pushing myself. All my life, I've been digging. All my life, I've been going. All my life, I've been thriving. And yes, I've been knocked down. Yes, I've been pushed aside. Yes, I've been rejected. But I kept going. I kept pushing. I kept believing in myself. I'm not saying that you got to be like me. You and me are two different people. 
You and me don't necessarily connect on everything. But you got to connect to something. You got to believe in something. You got to understand that it's going to take more grit and more will when it comes to what it is that you are seeking in your life. Because if you're holding on to things, if you're holding on to excuses, if you're holding on to fear, then there's no faith. Whether you win, whether you lose, don't give up. If you lose, lose. Humble yourself, work harder and go again. Competition, that's life. Doesn't matter what you got going on. If you're in sports, doesn't matter. Somebody out there is a little bit hungrier than you are, then you got to get a little bit hungrier than them. If something out there that is chasing you and trying to destroy you and bring you down and trying to take everything from you, you got to be greater than the things that is trying to take you out. This is your time right now. And it's only a short time. You got a short window. Don't let that window close. Get through it and go after it. Believe in it and understand it. Because it's yours. If you're going to lose, Make sure you do it the right way. Quitting is easy. Anybody can do it. If you fail, learn from it and build on it. But don't you give up. Fight, push, dig, and go after it. And make the most of your life. Stand tall and believe in it and work at it each and every day of your life. Let the challenges come. Do whatever you got to do. And keep it moving. It's time. This is a reality check. This is the moment that opportunity comes your way. This is a chance for you to realize that you got work to do. This is about that last rep. One more rep is what it's gonna take for you to finish what you started. Yeah, I know you're getting tired. I know you're feeling weak. You probably feel that you don't even have what it takes to get the last rep. But nothing is done until you finish it. If you truly want to make change, if you truly want to grow, if you truly want to be powerful, if you truly want that greatness, you got to work hard. You got to dig a little bit deeper. You got to find it. You got to go after it because it's not looking for you. Success is not looking for you. You got to go get it. This is what it's about. It's about the time. It's about the hour that you have in that place of business. And there's no weakness that can be invited to this party. If you want something, go get it now. You're looking for reps. You're looking for 10 reps. You're looking for 12 reps. How about 13? How about 14? How about 20? How about 50? How about giving it everything you got until there's nothing else left to give? One more rep. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm telling you to do it. I'm telling you to have a conversation with yourself. I'm letting you know it's you against you. I'm letting you know that you got to make the opportunity happen. You got to be fired up. You got to be hungry for it. You got to have the desire to push yourself. Because if you don't, you just waste time. Everything you had, you just let it go to the wayside. This is it right here. This is that moment that you got to work. This is that moment when you got to push. There is no weakness in the place of business. There is no time to be wasted in the place of business. You don't have time to be conversating with anybody. All you need to do is be conversation with them reps. Having a discussion with yourself, having a discussion with your opportunities, having a discussion with the success that you are looking for. If you're not hungry, if you're not willing, if you don't have the grit, if you don't have the tenacity, then you're not going to get what you're looking for. I want you to recognize that it takes work, it takes sacrifice, it takes understanding, it takes will, it takes determination. And this is that time right now to get it. Push that last rep. Push with everything you got. 
tell excuses to step aside. Let weakness know that it is not welcome in your house. And go after what it is that you are seeking. Because the opportunities are yours. Go get it. Go get it now. And give it everything you got. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. It has begun. You started down a path. You started to realize that as you kept going on, it started to get a little bit hard and a little bit tough. You got to a point where you wanted to give up and you wanted to quit. Guess what? You still got unfinished business. When I say unfinished business, that means exactly what it means. Just because you are in the verge of a war or you're in the verge or in a position where your body feels like it wants to quit is because you let your mind shut down and your body believed it. You got to start connecting with yourself as a whole, mind, body, and soul. And regardless of the outcome, you don't have the permission or the right to quit. So you got to carry on. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep fighting for it. You got to keep trusting in yourself. You got to keep pushing because you got unfinished business. I know how it is. I've been knocked down. I've been on my back. I know what it means to hurt. I put myself to the test, but I refuse to quit. What are you going to do? Are you hungry enough? Are you willing enough? Are you strong enough? You got unfinished business. This is what it takes. You got to feed the beast. We ain't talking about be a monster. I'm saying be a beast. Be hungry and go after it. Every day is dinner time. Every day you got to feed that machine and you got to become more than you ever become in your life. Don't put yourself in this little bitty situation because it didn't turn out the way you wanted it. Maybe you didn't win that first battle. Maybe you didn't get that position that you wanted. But that doesn't mean you're supposed to quit. That means you got unfinished business. That means you got something else that you need to be doing. That means you got something else that you need to be working on. Maybe your idea didn't work out at the moment. Maybe you did get rejected. That doesn't mean that you're out the game. That doesn't mean that it's over. You got to keep moving on. Maybe take a few steps back, analyze the situation, and then keep pushing. Keep going. Stay hungry and believe. Don't you realize that you got to have faith in yourself every single day of your life? Don't you realize that you're going to get yourself in a position if you keep giving up, and when you keep giving up, you ain't ready to show up? How can you get anywhere in life if every time something doesn't go the way you want it to go, you're ready to give up? This is not the way to be. No one said you were perfect. No one said that it was going to always be your day. No one said that you're going to win every battle. But you got to stay within yourself. You got to believe within yourself. Regardless of the outcome, make sure you give everything you got within yourself. And if it did not work out, find a way to get back in the game and go after it. Go after it. Not go backwards, go forward and feed that beast. You got to go hard, ladies and gentlemen. I speak to you because I'm convicted, I'm convinced that I have to stay strong. I have to keep pushing. I keep going because I have no choice. What choices have you made? What have you done in your life? How much work did you put in? You ready to quit now? Is it over right now? You don't think you're good enough for it? You don't think you're ready for it? Stop thinking so much and start doing more. The biggest mistake is that you're thinking too much instead of doing. So go hard. Get after it every single day. Work. When others are sleeping, you should be working. 
It's time for you to start making that move. It's time for you to start believing in yourself again. You got unfinished business. So get to the business. Get after it right now. Stop putting yourself in this position where there's nothing else left in you. You got much more to give of your life because you are living right now. You ain't got time to be giving up. What you giving up for? Why? Why are you giving up? Because you're afraid of something? You're afraid that your friends are going to laugh at you? You're afraid of what people are going to think about you? You're afraid because you don't think you have what it takes to go to the next level and go beyond that? Don't you realize every day of your life is a new beginning, a new opportunity, a new chance? So make it count each and every day of your life. Get up, start moving, be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. The stage is set, and it's time to rock and roll. You are walking into an arena, and you must be ready to work. There can be no weakness. There can be no excuses. Why does life have to be so difficult? Why must we struggle so much? What good is life if every day there's so much pain? It is time to take control of your now, to be able to get back in the driver's seat, to understand that you must be tougher than your life. Do you feel that life is holding you back? Are you blaming your life for the difficulties that you face day in and day out? Welcome to the jungle! In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is survive. Are you holding on to something that won't help you to push the extra mile? that won't help you to push that extra rep that you need? Will you finish what you start? Or will you make excuses? What is it gonna take for you to wake up and realize that in this place, there is no easy. You can't get strong being easy. You can't get faster being easy. You can't be the best makeup of yourself being easy. Many things will come at you. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up. But you don't have the permission to do so. You must carry on the good fight. What great is in you? If you don't believe of your greatness that you possess inside, what good is your greatness? If you don't stand on it, how can you hold on to who you really are inside? If you let everything else tell you that you're not worthy, the mistakes, the heartaches, the setbacks, you're gonna feel the heat, but you got to be cool. You got to calm your storm. You got to weather the storm. And know that your purpose in this world is meaningful. Your life is of great importance. The time that you have in this world it's so precious. Be faithful. 
Be productive. Put away the destructive mindset. Let the world know that you matter. Believe in every step that you take. And if you stumble and fall, remember the ground will never apologize to you. So get up, carry on, be strong, and understand and know that your work is not done yet. When it starts to get tough, you must get a little bit tougher. You must understand that you are not the only one in this world that's got a story to tell. There are people that are buried right now that are in the ground, in the graves. Because the thing about life, it will always go on. It will always serve its purpose. Stop drowning and learn how to swim. You may have a great distance to get to shore. The water may be a little rough. The tide could be coming in, but you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on swimming. You may go under a few times, but take a deep breath. Let it out, but you keep on swimming. You're not out of the fight. You continue to move on. There's going to be a lot of things swimming beneath your feet. There's going to be a lot of things that's going to try to drag you down. But you're not in the business to drown. You're in the business to live. Do not starve yourself from the beauty of life. gonna be people out there in the world right now that don't understand the significance and what it takes to put in work the title is show up show up and ready to work show up and ready to dig show up and ready to push show up and ready to run hard you did not come here to hold yourself back. If you're having a bad day, it's a day to make a difference. It's a day to define who you truly are inside. Are you that individual that woke up this morning and didn't know if you wanted to show up today? You walked through the door and then you decided you weren't ready? You walked through the door and you said you wasn't ready because you wasn't ready to accept the fact that this is not going to be an easy day? Welcome to the jungle! In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is, survive. Survive the challenges. Know the difference between obstacles and opportunities. Opportunities always come. They will forever show up. But do you have the ability to overcome the obstacles that are standing in your way? Do you have the strength capacity to push through it? Are you powerful enough to persevere Without fear, without doubt, no excuses. When weakness shows up, you must let weakness know to step aside because these reps that you still have left, you are responsible for, not weakness, not your best friend. This is your time to shine. This is your time to push. This is your time to get the work done. This place that you decided to show up, you better be ready to show out. Get tight, get right, or get going.
Your alarm clock is not responsible for you to show up! Recognize your truth! Carry on! With a full heart! Be productive! Be powerful! And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.